They were a downright rude bunch. The moment I set foot in any room, be it the kitchen or the bathroom, they'd scuttle away, avoiding any interaction. It was like I was invisible to them, and that stung a bit. Amidst this standoffish behavior, I did manage to strike up a conversation with one of them. Let's call him Larry the Cockroach. Larry was the only one who dared to approach me. We had a decent chat during which he spilled the beans on the whereabouts of his entire cockroach clan hiding behind the refrigerator. Initially, I thought we were getting along fine, but then things took a turn for the worst. Larry and his family started throwing shade, commenting on my appearance, and said I was ugly. That was the last straw for me. I decided to take matters into my own hands and reach for my trusty pest control sprays. <laughs> Little did Larry and his family know, I wasn't just any random man. I was Dan the Bugman. I was armed and ready to put an end to their entire cockroach reign. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how I eliminated these arrogant roaches. I always check under the dining room table just to see how it looks. And there is in fact a little bit of activity, not too, too bad. But there is a cockroach right there sticking its head and antenna out and some droppings in the corner there. So I'm going to go ahead and get up under here and just do a little bit of a spray on the edges there. I'm going to be paying special attention to this cabinet here. The homeowner said that they had been seeing a lot of activity here, which is great. I love, I love information from homeowners. They're the ones who live here. They're the ones who know where the most activity has been. These people have two dogs, as you can see, the dog photos behind me, but they put their food and water bowl right below this cabinet here. We do have some cockroach activity. I'll show you right above the dog. Food and water bowl. Roaches love hiding in the hinges. That's one cockroach. Just a nymph, maybe a teenager year. There's another younger one down there. Crawling around the door hinges. Very common for roaches to hide around the hinges. There's two cockroaches right here. A baby nymph and middle-aged in star, maybe the third or fourth inch star cockroach. That's the cockroach bait that the homeowner was using. That brown smudges. I mean, this is way, way too much bait. I'm going to spray it under this cabinet here. Put the wand under and spray up, up like that. So here I'm going to use the Doxum NXT and treat just the hinges there. Here's another thing that the homeowners have done. This is a pretty good product, actually. It's a professional grade cockroach gel bait they've put under the cabinet. Honestly, that's probably why the infestation isn't so bad, is because the homeowners have been trying. They've been trying hard to get rid of these roaches. Sometimes I get to a house and the people aren't even trying. They don't even care that they have roaches. I always talk about taking a look at the kitchen islands. This would be considered an island. A lot of activity happens here, preparing food eating food. I just took a peek under here. Didn't see any activity. What the camera is sitting on now, it's like a microwave stand. I'm just taking a peek in here, seeing how it looks. I found a dead camel cricket. I would like to direct your attention to this area behind the cabinets. There is always a void, almost always a void, and I'm going to be sure to spray back in there. It's a very common spot for the roaches to hide. Here's another example of what the homeowners have been doing to help. There are cockroaches found all over this glue board here though. These ones are still alive right here with their antennas wiggling. Here's one just randomly crawling on the floor. I'm not sure if one of my other sprays flushed it out. Doesn't look to be in too big of a hurry. I know I squished it with my shoe covers on <laughs> but I, I'm wearing my shoe covers because on the way inside I stepped in the customer's dog's poop which was not fun. I'm going to go ahead and treat under the cabinets here but I wanted to mention if you are in the pest control industry you're going to need a pest control software to manage all of your customers. I have always used BrioStack. 
I've been with BrioStack for four years. They treated me as a customer and my family's businesses extremely, extremely well. I'm going to go ahead and put my respirator on because I'm going to use the Toxum NXT and get back behind the refrigerator. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to pull out this bad boy right here. <sighs> Sometimes you can tell like these appliances haven't been moved in years and years. They're just stuck, stuck in place. I wanted to share some tips on getting rid of and preventing cockroaches without relying on professional pest control sprays or services like mine. Even though I often discuss my own methods and what professionals use, I know that it's not always feasible. There might be instances where you'd prefer not to hire a professional due to budget or if you just don't want someone inside your home and I completely understand that. To begin with, the best strategy is to avoid the roach infestation to begin with. There are a number of preventative measures you can take to keep those critters out of your house, but here are my top three. My top recommendation is regularly vacuuming behind your refrigerator. As you can see in this video and all of my other videos, refrigerators are always the number one place that roaches start to infest. Secondly, I would try to avoid overstocking or crowding your pantry or cabinets. This is just going to give roaches more places to hide. It's going to make it harder for you to clean. And third, I would also recommend placing glue boards around your home strategically. Some in the kitchen, some in the bathroom, some in the living room. This will help monitor and catch pest populations. Say if a spider crawls in or roach crawls in, check these glue boards every few weeks and you'll kind of get an idea as to what kind of pests are crawling around your house. I guarantee that you're going to be surprised at the amount and the kinds of bugs that are in your home without you ever even knowing. I'm a professional and I love keeping glue boards in my house in areas like the garage and bathrooms, especially in the basements or on the first floor. Out of all the places cockroaches can hide, you wouldn't expect them to be behind this cute puppy dog's face, but they are in fact because the food bowl has already been taken up, but the water bowl for this cute little dog is right below it, so the cockroaches have the perfect food and water source, and behind this picture here is a cockroach nest. Let's go ahead and take a look at it now. I'm going to turn it over and set it on the ground here so we can take a look. Check out the cockroaches on this photo here. There are tons of droppings and live roaches, and the camera is not focusing. There we go. So, that was behind the photograph. One, two live cockroaches, and actually that one just fell into the water bowl a couple seconds ago before I got here. Actually, there's three, three, four more hiding in that crack. Very, very hard to see. They are expert hiders, and look at them trying to shove themselves in that crack. Even though they can't fit in there, that cockroach cannot fit it's still trying to get inside that crack though. These are German cockroaches. They are notorious for infesting houses, kitchens, extremely, extremely important pests to be aware of. So the Dachshund NXT, just treating exactly like that. That crack and crevice where all those cockroaches are hiding and they do not like that product. Flush them out of their hiding spots, flush them running towards me. Now, took their care of that one for you. That one's on the house. So we're going to be doing a cockroach treatment on two different houses today. Um, I'll show you my arsenal. I've got my BNG hand sprayer filled up with Tego Trio IGR concentrate right here. We're going to be using the Doxum NXT Tego Trio foam. I've got glue boards. This is all held inside the BNG Pro Shield sleeve. So now we're going to head over to the next door neighbor's house and treat this house for cockroaches. So I'm going to gather my stuff and head over there now. As soon as I got inside, this is just the customer's bedroom. There's already an adult roach crawling around right there in the middle of the day. That is a female with an Uthika. Let me just go ahead and give her a quick, quick little spray. 
Despite their name, this cockroach isn't exclusively a German resident. In fact, its origins can be traced back to Africa. So how did these cockroaches end up being called German? Well, as these resilient little travelers hitched a ride with humans on ships, making their ways across the globe during the 19th century, they developed a strong association with German cargo ships. Fast forward to today and these pests have adapted to various environments and thrive in places with warmth, moisture, and unfortunately for us, easy access to food. Okay, it's happened again. The fridge might as well just be the highlight of every single cockroach job. There are tons of roaches behind the fridge. So I'm going to show you. I just pulled this out. This thing, this fridge probably hadn't moved from this singular spot in 10 years or more. It's literally like indented into the ground, sagging the floors, but there are tons of roaches right in that area right there. So we're going to treat back there. We're also going to pull back the cardboard right here and get the guts of the fridge treated as well. Honestly, it's actually not as bad as the other fridge, which is very surprising. There's lots of dead ones though. Well, let's go ahead and take a look back here. And check out some of these live roaches running around under close up. We can get it treated. That's the particular group of them I want to treat immediately. I'm going to take the Doxum NXT and it's going to knock these out almost right away. Check out these antennas sticking out from underneath the floorboard. This linoleum tile is coming up. I bet there's some roaches under there. Yes, zoomed out too far, but yes, multiple roaches under the linoleum flooring running around extremely quickly because they do not like the light. Roaches aren't nocturnal per se, but they do feel much safer at night.